All right, so I've already had a number of folks hit me up about the idea of a personal site internally. And uh, so I wanted to quick show you my actual site that I use internally as an employee. Um, I used the uh, communications site template, just the base template to set this up. But I'll kind of walk through what that includes. So you can see here I edited my navigation. So I'm using the mega menu. And yeah, I have links to my public social presences so people can click there. They can also go to internal sites uh, that I'm on or a part of. So here's a demo environment, our national demo environment that uh, I've, I helped contribute to, this tech leadership council that I'm a part of, field enablement that I do, our team uh, blog, right, and, and things that are there, um, and then our midday cafe team. And so, you know, I have all these uh, various areas that people can see. Uh, I also have the, some of those repeating here, and I use the quick links web part for that. I used events web part to uh, post events. So some of these, you know, as I go, this one's a personal, and you can see I tag it as personal event. So I do a mix. I do share some of my personal things. Here's a highlighted post uh, that I really uh, think is, uh, is cool, the Viva Connections virtual tours, leveraging that and putting it within a dashboard. So you can see I did a post there. So when people ask about blogging and, hey, why don't I have a blog? This can do all that, right? Those are posts. And I can come right here, just simply click add. And if I have a link to something externally, I can just click and select that or I can create my own post. And I just recently did that around this field enablement, created a post. But you can see, again, I have links to some external uh, fun content, my dog laying on my bed, as well as to a lot of the professional things. Because the idea with a personal site is that you can blend w with a professional emphasis, some personal to give people insight into you, such as in the about, which you'll note uh, this uh, particular one I know has nothing sensitive. We have topics integration. So there you go. You can see uh, there is a topics page. It was generated around the Healthcare and Life Sciences public blog. Um, and so we have that there and some others. And so, uh, but with that, you have the ability to build your brand, to share resources. So if I go down below, you know, below these posts, you can see I have resource links here that people can go to. I also have conversations that I'm uh, a part of or starting. And so you can get to that. I have documents that I've uploaded. I wanted to centralize and make them easily available. And so we have all that. And the idea being all of this then becomes a part of that extended graph system. So it's cross-linking with other areas internally and externally that I'm a part of. And all of that data is now feeding into the graph and feeding further connectivity and connections. And so Using a, a communication site is a great way for you, one, to communicate and engage with folks internally. Number two, to be able to build your brand, raise awareness of things you're working on and different information around you right here. And that'll feed into other things that are graph fed. Um, and also to centralize, for example, the documents you want to share and others. Uh, that you don't, you know, your OneDrive really being that personal source uh, and not having to worry and having a distinction where you can categorize and put uh, the various documents here. So just a thought that you might want to do. This is a great thing for executives to use as a blogging platform for managers, uh, subject matter experts in your organization. You can use these things for groups and others. Um, these can be then tied in and uh you know, brought right within a team, but it's a great thing to do. Take a look at it. I highly encourage it. Um, and I do this here. You can see this is my professional uh, presence here at work.